Praise the Lord. The Lord is good and His mercy endures forever. There is this um, so-called announcement of this film titled Enoch. Hmm. As in the days of Noah, not as in the days of Enoch. So if you like, choose Enoch and put it there and hype and hype your Pharisee teachers of Matthew 23. Romans 8, 8, carnally minded ones who are there saying great man. When did the Lord say we should put great in front of man after Calvary? All greatness belongs to the Most High. So please sit down and listen to the word of God. List of pastor leader in Freemason. The leader preach out of their mouth, not from their heart. Their plan behind their mega church was to win so for Satan and close all the true church. God gave me their names and their their names. If I, if I mention their name, you will surely know which church they belong to. Those lead that thing by joining the secret court we help the church grow. Those leaders, some of them, what they did is they think by joining the secret court, we help the church grow. Now, the president of Free Mercy, Gosta from Africa, the president of Free Mercy, in God gave them their name out for you, God children, to know. There's two things I saw here now with the revelation God gave me this morning. God gave them their name out for you who attend their church, for you to know who they are. And that's the first. The second, that's the first. God gave their name out for you who belong to our children of God, for you to know that those people, they are not true men of God. You may be going through some challenging and you are blaming God and saying, God, why is it you haven't done a way? But you are under the umbrella of Satan and you can see the outcome of it. And then the second way is for those pastors, for them to know that God see what they call secret. For them to give their life to God, for for God to have mercy on them. God is giving them second chance. That's why God is bringing their name out. That is the two, the two reasons why God brings their name out. God brings their name out for you, the children of God, to know who they are so that you don't go to their church. You don't bend under their umbrella. And then the second thing is for those pastors to, to know that God sees what they are doing. God sees everything. And that is the two points. I said it, and all day I be, this morning before, I've been trying to put this message, the, the, my laptop was just playing up, I went to the toilet, I came back, it was just playing up, as I was there and I said, God, if this thing doesn't work again, I'm just going to switch it off, you know that I've done my best, and then God was saying me, try the last time, try the last time, as I was coming the last time, I opened only one page. He said, but seven or six, five of them just so I said, God, let us will be done. And that's why I'm bringing the message that God bring this message out for you, the children of God, to know who they are so that you don't go under the umbrella, so that you don't be in the in the cage of Satan. That's the reason. If not, there is no reason. God bring it out for you to know that who they are, so that you can be set free. God wanted to deliver his children. God wanted to set those who they put in bondage. God wanted to save them. That's why God is bringing this message. Out. And the second thing is for those pastors to know that God see what they call secret. It's for them to have the fear of God. It's for them to come out. And if they come out, God will have mercy on them. When I was talking to a lady last week, a few days ago, when we were talking, when she was saying, can they come out just like that? That's the same as they can come out just like that. So God, then we have mercy on them. It doesn't matter you may be the head of all your courtes all over the world and you give your life to God. God will surely have mercy on you. It is well. Let me start it now. Those lay that thing by joining the secret court we help the church grow. The presidents, I'm starting from Africa now, their name. The president of Freemason in Africa is Enoch Adejari Adeboy, was the head of Freemason in Africa in the church. They have their Idea. The head of Freemason in England was not a pastor, 
God said if she was a pastor, he will expose her, that he will only expose the one that are destroying his house. Okay. The head of Freemason in England was not a pastor. God said if she was a pastor, he will expose her, that he will only expose the one that are destroying his house. Look, it's us and his people. That he gave us all humanity choice to choose from. That he leave those that choose darkness because they know where they are going after they leave the earth. Okay. Next. When Kenneth Copler was the president of Freemason in America, they have people they are recruiting, working, who are working. Under them, they have people who they recruit, who they are, who they two are working under them. Now, the the president of Freemason in America, Kenneth okay, Copla, there's another, some of them named God give me. Maurice Yuri was in it, Joe Austin was in it, Joe Smyer was in it, Danny Hill was in it, T.D. Jackson, and many more are in it. Those that are in it, those are the head, when they say the leader, those are the leader. I need in in Africa we have their leader in Africa. If you want to know those their leader in Africa, if we even take a, a baby can name them for you. Look for the mega church in Africa. You don't need to go far to be able to find mega it. churches in Africa playing you games. Know, you don't know. Hmm. It's another second after Pastor, after as they put the name here, they didn't even put Pastor. You know, Kadija, the Adibu, it's second after Pastor Adibu, David Oyedepo, Daniel K. Unukoya, they all are on it, in it. Uh, 99% of Nigeria pastor are in it. Not only Nigeria pastor, but majority. 99 majority of them then some of them are in it because of they think you cannot association have god alone they think you need to serve god and then you need they to don't want to be set apart copla was the president of freemason in america they have people they are recruiting working who are working under them, they have people who they recruit, who they are, who they two are working under them. Now, the the president of Freemason in America, I'm bringing another those another name after Kenneth Copla. There's another some of them named God give me. Maurice Yuri was in it. Joe Austin was in it. Joe Smyer was in it. Danny Hill was in it. T. D. Jackson and many more are in it. Those that are in it, those are the head, when they say the leader, those are the leader that are in it. In, in Africa, we have their leader in Africa. If you want to know those their leader in Africa, if we even take a, a baby can name them for you, look for the mega church in Africa. You don't need to go far to be able to find find them. David Oyedepo, uh, 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 is another second after pastor after as they put the name here they didn't even put pastor you know kadija the adibu is second after pastor adibu david Oyedepo, daniel k unukoya they all are on it in it uh 99 percent of nigeria pastor are in it not only nigeria pastor but majority 99 majority of them they are in it. some of them are in it because of they think you cannot serve God alone. They think you need to serve God and then you need to still use the power of Satan. Get this book is 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 on its way. God will to all pastors. If you are their church member, get that book. Try it. Get that book. God will to all pastor. Buy it. Send it to any one of those pastors, and God will have mercy on you. Because if you to read that book, you will go and look for your pastor as to, to to give them that book and say, no, no, my pastor needs to read it. So whose report will you believe? The hidden truth and dark side of these wicked ones, or this?
Enoch, a bow epic of the great man of God, Pastor E. E. Adeboye, another evangelical message from the stables of Solid Rock Foundation and Monsignor Film Productions, Enoch, the story behind the glory, Enoch, the secret of living in humility and righteousness, Enoch, the gains and pains of serving the living God, coming soon to bless you. Watch out. Matthew 23, verse 15, and verse 28. To you, they appear righteous. That's the white abada they are wearing. But inside, inside, if you look further than the white camouflage, you know, packaging of abada, they are dark meters. They meet in the dark. They are children of darkness. They are their father, the devil. According to the very words of the Lord Yeshua, in John 8:44. As I was in the in the pit, God showed me everything about Nigeria pastor. I saw in a room where Pastor Adebuye was. I saw first I saw Pastor Adebuye in a room. Inside the room that he was, it was very dark. And I saw all the Nigeria pastors, they all wear a better, complete white a better. They are going inside to meet Pastor Adebuye in the room. The room they are going in was very dark. It's like if they are going there to have a meeting. Then Pastor Chris Oekiloma of Christ Embassy, he do like this and look at me in the pit and said to me, where is the pastor now to come and pick, uh, to come and save him? And 2013, my pastor from the from heaven, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Israel, he surprised them. He, he, he came down from heaven to visit me. You can see that my God came to visit me. And there's another pastor God gave me in Nigeria. You, it may be funny to you all, but the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, never lie. He knew how to deliver all his children. Pastor Kumuyi, God didn't tell me that he was in famous, but God said to me that Pastor Kumuyi is not clean in his eyes. God said it's not clean in his eyes. That's the word God gave me about Pastor Kumuyo of Deeper Life Church. God said to me it's not clean in his eyes. There are some of the pastors, they know the truth and they are afraid to speak the truth. Maybe that's part of what the reason why I said it's not clean in his eyes. Next. The leader push from Me mommy mommy ma Solo de Mari, O Jualash, O Levi, O Golu, Ami, Mi Mami, Mami, Ma, Solo de Mari, O Jualash, O Levi, O Golu, You see, as far back as Three years plus, I've seen this video that I went back. I've searched for it before. I didn't see her, but the Lord allowed me to see her now because it's time to show you the epic truth of those who want to go from the name Adeboye to Enoch, thinking they are in the rank of Enoch, who walk with God. I was no more. Adeboye. 
is in this prophecy the head of Freemason in Africa. And the likes of the other ones are there with him as they wear their white abada into their dark room meeting. They are captives to Satan. Satan being Esau, literally, and even Satan as an embodiment of evil. So, hearing are the list of some of them being exposed. We know that the flesh, flesh, already godless, according to Hebrews 12, 16, whom the Lord hates. For those who look like the earth, but inside them is flesh, like Judas Iscariot, they always fall away. Even when they want to go as if they are part of the Judah people, they always fall away. See, Pastor Kumi, a lot is happening now. Pastor Kumi has sold out deeper life to Esau. Deeper life members, if you don't come out in obedience to the Lord in 2 Corinthians, 2 Corinthians 6, 40 to 18, I'll come out from among them to the Holy Spirit of life in your garden of two or three. Then the Lord will meet you as he met with the disciples, faithful disciples in their own houses of Matthew 18, 20, in their upper room on the day of Pentecost in Acts chapter 1, 14 and Acts chapter 2. So hearing is what I didn't even expect. I came here for the so-called epic truth that you need to know about Adeboye and those is leading astray. Because there's been many other prophecies for others. So that you don't think this woman just wants to be talking on her own. I've heard a lot, a lot more, but I want to weigh whatever I've heard according to Acts chapter 17, 11, by the truth of God's word. And let the word of God even prove that indeed according to Matthew 23, John 8, 44, 2 Peter 2, 3. Many of these ones are fabricators of stories. They are liars. They are serving the Satan, Esau, flesh, under, and coming to you to think they are the ones you should make great man of God of. And those of you saying that, you will be judged by your words. You will be condemned because greatness belongs to the Messiah, not to any mortal man. So Pastor Kumi, even as far back as this, before he followed Adeboye to go and commit the sin of adultery, James 4, 4, being friends with Esau, who has been condemned, whom God hates, in Malachi 1, 3 to 4. So they go in the meeting of selling the world peace of everyone in redeem. As a member in every earthly household, eh. so you think you are the general of Asia Adeboye. To sell the war piece that should belong to the earth, to sell it to the flesh, is all. Oh, for those who look around, woe and destruction is their lot. The word of God says, if of this earth alone do we have peace, we are of all men miserable. You better begin to look up to the true general overseer. Of the Lord Yeshua, the Holy Spirit of His Son, of Hebrews 1 1 to 2. His Son is John the Beloved Baptist. Why else do you think the Lord exalted him above everyone born of woman? So, the Holy Spirit, the person of the Holy Spirit, is John the Beloved, whom they tell you in their lying attempt of Jeremiah 18 that he was beheaded. Whereas, in your book, Acts chapter 12 verse 2, it was James that was beheaded by the sword. You see how they are make sure that you don't know the person of the Holy Spirit and that you don't know the person of your Lord Yeshua, Jesus Christ, Jacob Israel, who are called by his name, Second Chronicles 7, 14. This one signed into Freemason. And if you ask me who will be the female leader of the Freemason, is a mild drag queen that had just gone down after I've been dead. Only God knows since when she's been dead that they've just buried. So she's the representation of flesh, the flesh of Elizabeth. You know, so she has gone down. Their whole machinery of Jezebel, skull and bowl is crumpling. Now they want to come through. Holy Ghost, and from the Ghost realm, go to deeper 
and try to come out to be <laughs> children of life. No, the Lord has crossed them out. So, come on, it's not clean. Look, so you may just look at one who looks like Judas is carrier that ah, he dresses like the remaining 11 disciples. That doesn't mean inside him is clean. This is how unclean Judas Iscariot was meeting with those he shouldn't be meeting, betraying his own very love. So deeper life as of now from what the Holy Spirit is teaching me through his word and by his word in John 16, 13 that he will lead me and guide me to truth even yet unknown. The Lord Yeshua is confirming a lot. I am the one that will summarize it as deeper life church. Since you don't want to come out of church, you don't even call yourself congregation, gathering of God's people. You call yourself church because there's something of the Roman Catholicism, of Roman Vatican still you are linked to. So, he has sold deeper life to us also be ready to see more of this kind of posters. They are just doing it softly, softly, and weighing your response. As you are there, jubilating, see how even him, Tsukumu, is beaming. As if, yes, he's a smart man. Sin shaking before the judgment throne of heaven. So to come, I even see that this old video also mentioned that he, Kumu, is not clean before heaven. It all shows that the Lord who sees the beginning from the end, the end from the beginning, knows that this is the last day Judas Iscariot, you know, character that this Kumuyi will play out in his life. Shame, oh. Shame. You were barely just dressing holy. That doesn't mean that the Lord did not expose that uh, most of the people there are practicing witchcraft. So it's not only outward packaging or white agbada. As you go into your dark meeting, listen to what this lady said many years ago. I don't know whether it's up to six years or three years now. But we we'll check later. And there's another pastor God gave me in Nigeria. You, it may be funny to you all, but the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, never lie. You know how to deliver all his children. Pastor Kumuyi. God didn't tell me that he was in sinless, but God said to me that Pastor Kumu is not clean in his eyes. God said he's not clean in his eyes. That's the word God gave me about Pastor Kumu of Deeper Life Church. God said to me he's not clean in his eyes. There are some of the pastors, they know the truth and they are afraid to speak the truth. Maybe that's part of what the reason why I said he's not clean in his eyes. You see how this lady. You know, said that there are some pastors, she just put her own opinion. Maybe that's why God said, but she should just limit herself. I also, have, I think I may do what she have done in the past. I may have done it. You know, just say what God says. God says it's not clean. Because now it's evident that Kumoi is not clean before God. He's so happy that he's in liaison with Esau. In some, they always look at those who are at the top. Whether those who are exalted themselves, you know, against God's will, they don't want to know. And so everyone that has been exalted against, you know, the body of Christ that God did not exalt are coming down. They will be brought down sudden destruction. Is their portion. Look out. Be aware personally. This is not a prophecy. Personally, as I was studying a bit portion of Matthew 24, that their flight will not be in winter. That their flight will not be in winter. No, in Sabbath. Sabbath is what happened during the soul body. This body flesh timeline, <laughs> the light is going to go the opposite way. It's going to go against the enemies of Israel. And it might well be this winter. It might well be this winter. We are talking in two months' time. You don't know. I don't know. I'm watching out for many <laughs> times there. I'll see which one is going to come to fulfillment. But like I said, it's not a prophecy because this one is going to come to them or upon them, the wicked ones of uh, Pharisee, the wicked ones of Esau, of Psalm 83, 4. Isaiah 66, is, Isaiah 66 is going to come upon them. Romans 1, 18 to 32. 
Revelation 6, 12 to 17. Many judgment bowls of wrath is going to come upon the wicked. They will not go scot free as they descend, falling like the walls of Jericho, flooded out like the, the sinfulness, you know, ungodliness they are, flooded out of this earth because the Lord is going to shine upon this earth and make it the garden of Eden it's supposed to be once again. As we, the true children of the Most High, who love him, the Malachi 3, 16 to 18, who serve the Lord with our heart, not just with our lips, see ourselves enjoying the millennial reign of peace on earth. God's will be done on earth as it is in heaven. No more confusion, no more Pharisee, no more wolves, no more freemason of skull and bones, Jezebel's followers, whether by makeup, whether by unclean jewelry of Isaiah 3, 16 to 24, whether by unclean jewelry of Ezekiel 7, 19 to 20, whether by disobedience where God said, take off the ornaments. In Exodus 32 and Exodus 33, we see the Lord finally saying to his children, Israelites, earthly Israelites, take off those ornaments before I even know what to do with you. So by watching Esau, the fake ones who say they are the children of the Mosai, the fake Jews, the fake, 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 according to Revelation 2, 9, 3, 9, who say they are Jews and are not. You see them putting all their blood, diamond, and all this jewelry, you copy them. And say, if God's children are doing this, why not you? Looking at the fake poster, long hair Jesus they gave you, you need to awake to know that the Lion of the tribe of Judah is earthly as his sister that you are looking at. He is the God of the heaven and the earth. Meaning even the earth people who look like earth, not those who bleach. He is their God. So I would rather even listen to all the daughters of Zion, men of Israel, than look to flesh for any word of truth. Because God has entrusted his word this end time to Judah. He is the king sheep tribe. Your Oba tribe that is coded for us as Yoruba people. Take whatever she's saying to the Lord in prayer. So, the only issue I have now, from what I believe before and now, is this word church. The Roman church, the Lord God Almighty does not enter in. We are his temple. He may be seeing us as congregation. I would want Tony. What the Lord is telling us from congregation to church is another question that the Lord will make clear to us as we continue to seek Him. So let's continue. They neither preach from their mouth nor from their heart. They are putting people on, they have people who are who they are recruiting, and those who are recruiting more start to join them in their secret society. Mm -hmm. they from inside the church, you see, inside the church, they are recruiting secret society and some from outside the church. This is why God wants his, this message to stay on the YouTube. Okay, the Roman Catholic Pope, Pope and Bishop are all in it, but soon the whole world will see the judgment of God. The leader fish, the leader who are in famous in. They leader push out of their mouth, but not from their hearts. Their plan behind their mega church was to win soul for Satan and close all the true church of God. Their plan was to close all the church of God so that people will not grow into the things of God. When you are going to their church, they have sold your soul. To Satan, you become follow, follow. You cannot grow in the world. Follow, follow. Of God. Hmm. Ask God to deliver your soul from wherever they have kept it. And these are the ones now. You know, there's one she doesn't show her face. Well, this pastor, the true word of God is not in there. I've not seen her face. There's one she calls herself Hallelujah, some teacher name. She's there say, ah, it's true. All this cascade, I'm putting it my own ways. 
round words, somebody of what you're saying. After hearing what her unclean Kumuyi have said, going back on major doctrines that are based on the scripture. He went back on jewelry. He went back on the fact that uh, Jacob is different from Esau. We are one. And no partiality with God. He went back. He went back. He went back on so many major teachings, including television is a mistake. When television was the first open portal of demons into homes in Africa before even internet connection to promote indecent dressing, indecent this. So now that the <laughs> timeline is fresh, fresh galore. People may say, well, it's a big deal. They're so different. They're so different between telly and gadget. Well, television did a lot of havoc then. For those who still remember, who still remember themselves as SU, Scripture Union, you know, holiness and preachers and seekers. Have you ever asked why you're hypocritical? Or let me just say, have you ever asked why your so-called mama and they boy misses? Doesn't put on um, jeans, bag, 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 trousers. She doesn't put on jewelry. These are some of the ones that then were into, you know, the they were into the age group, is what I would say, of the time of, uh, we don't do this. So we are people of Israel. Some of them remembered they were the true Israelites of the earth. Uh, so they don't wear trousers, they don't put jewelry, they don't put all this. They remember that the law says, take those ornaments off. That's why you won't see them going back, but they don't preach. She doesn't preach against those who are now using jewelry, trousers, in the name of ministry on pulpit. For who? For Dan? For Pharisee? I'm just going to round this up because there's so much to say, but enough is said already let's take it to the lord in prayer not just to take the word of any one but be like the berean wise believers of acts chapter 17 11 and to obey 4 john 4 1 to test every spirit to see whether the spirit speaking is from heaven or from just flesh or from demons you cannot just take every word of any mortal it has to be the words of the living god backed by the holy spirit and then we will remain in the truth shalom